Okay, now it's Miss Bailey's turn. Let's see what she knows. I got her sitting and that was just by a treat. The thing is, is they both do like rewards. So I think that training and working towards a reward is good. Sometimes we, re we use rewards as a crutch where we get them to do things with the treat and then they don't have to continue to follow through. So like running outdoors and gates, we kind of go here, Bailey, Bailey, sit. And then we take off and they get right up. So we need to make sure they get the release command. Okay, good girl. And that's when they get the reward is the okay. Now in the beginning, when we're just kind of getting to know them and stuff like that, we do use the rewards as a bribe just to kind of get them into the mood of going with us because they're not ours. But then we kind of start weaning those rewards out to just release commands. Hey, babe, come on. Bailey, sit. Bailey, hey, sit. So not a sit yet. Now if I use the reward, sit. You gonna get it? Good girl. So there, she does good. Okay. So we'll start weaning off that reward behavior. Bailey, Bailey. Good girl, yeah, there's a Bailey girl. We want her to look at us when we say her name too. Um, so that may be something that we're gonna have to work on a little bit in the beginning when we say her name, she should kind of look over at us. Um, terrier mentality, as far as that goes, that's just kind of their personality. They tend to be a little bit more go to ground, outward focused type dogs. So, um, but nothing major with either one of them. I think they're both gonna do fine. We'll put them up and get them back out at the end of week one and see how they're doing then. Now it's Bailey's turn to show off what she's been learning, you know, um, they're both doing, as I said, very well. So I think just being consistent with it, um, really making sure that they're following it up and everything like that. Um, we're going to get that consistency in there in the second week. That's kind of what it's for. So they're doing it pretty well automatic on most things. Um, so we want to make sure that that's really good and solid for you guys so that when you get them home, it's really easy to follow it up. Come on, baby. Want to go for a walk? Do you want to go? All right, come on, let's go. Come on. Good girl. Bailey, sit. Hey, sit. All the way. Good girl. Stay. All the way back to her side and reward good girl okay good job okay do you want it or not <laughs> you're goofy huh all right come on let's go for a walk sit good better sit than baxter <laughs> all right let's go Come on, Bailey. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey. Hey. Good girl. Good. Reminder, you got to stay with me. Come on. Bailey, sit. Good. Oh, that was almost automatic. Stay. Yeah, I know, sweetheart. That wind picked up and it's kind of awful. Come on. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on. Hurry, hurry. Hurry. Come on. Sit. Good. All right, let's go. Come on. Hurry, hurry. Keep saying hurry, hurry, because she's a little behind me. She's wanting to walk a little on the slow side. We want him to walk at our pace. Come on, hurry, Bailey, come on. Come on. She's 
acting like she's tuckering out a little bit. Sit. Good. All right, let's see how you do with cups. Ready? Get it. Hurry. Where is it? Failing. Come. Hurry. There's not much fast about you, is there? Get it. Bailey, come. Good, sit. Good job. Ready? Get it. Bailey, come. Hurry. Come, 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 come. Good. Sit. One more. Get it. Bailey, come. Yeah. All right. When I visited with you a little bit about the training and everything, you know, I know they're a little older and, and everything like that, but you really wanted to just be able to get out and take them for a walk. And I think we've kind of accomplished that. The only thing with just taking dogs for a walk, they've got to be able to like know how to sit and stay. Um, you need to be able to pass people on the street. That's a sit stay. You know, you don't want them running out in the street. And if you come to the corner, or if you come to a driveway and somebody's backing out, you want them to know that they've got to, when you stop, they've got to sit. Those are safety issues. Um, and then come is always important because I do think that, you know, every once in a while a dog will run out of door and gate, even when they've been trained not to. They just get overexcited and you need that come to make sure that they will come back to you. So um, all of it is important overall. We've gotten the walking accomplished. They look a lot better. Um, as far as that goes but we've got another week to go to make this more solid for you guys so we'll get them back out and tape them before they go home and see how they're doing then good girl